Last night at home, we were talking about if that we were in a time capsule, what would we take with us? And I would love to do anything, like put different processed foods in a time capsule uh -huh. and see, like probably like a hundred years from now, you would be the up same. They'd be the same. <laughs> a, a friend of mine <laughs> for his <laughs> wedding, the same. I sad. bought him a whole lot of like carving boards and toasters <laughs> and stuff. Very well. <laughs> and I packed it in Wonder Bread as the padding. Yeah. I wow. got lots yeah. of Wonder Bread. <laughs> yeah. It's big box. Because I knew, you know, even there's not much took, real yeah, about it. So. Yeah, the interested. food is but preserved, but is, we're not. Yeah. That's the problem. But, but going to your point of, well, it's more expensive, yeah. but this is where I share with people that it's not always more expensive. Mm -hmm. You can look for it. They do put those items on yeah. sale. There are coupons that come out. Well, and you, you have know. to know where to go because yeah. I can go buy organic exactly. stuff at Sprouts. It's not yeah. expensive. Right. Or Trader at all. Joe's. Or Trader Joe's. Yeah, Trader right. Joe's. No, it just depends. Yeah. You just yeah. have to know where to go. And honestly, there's so many more stores now that are offering that, like Sprouts right. and Trader Joe's, yeah. that are affordable. The issue you know. is when you're in an area where those don't exist. Mm -hmm. So you if know, you're in we, we also need to look at the fact that our most vulnerable populations are in food deserts and are not getting access to whether it's organic or non-organic, they're not getting access. So what is your recommendation to somebody who might be in a food desert? In a food desert. Well, I hope that they're not in an internet desert because now we have the capabilities. There are so many places that you can order online mm -hmm. and you can order organic. You can order um, <coughs> the different healing ingredients, some of those which I love. You know, um, I know there's a doctor right now who's out who is against goji berries, but I don't agree with that. No, I I've think seen that. Goji berries have a wonderful, um, powerful uh, phytochemical and vitamin rich nutrient. Um, element to them. Uh, the same doctor I think is against tomatoes mm -hmm. actually yeah. and I don't, I will never be against a true delicious homegrown tomato. Can right. you see my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> really? You know you can buy it into them. I like to eat them like candy. Uh, yeah. Do tomatoes you, qualify as well, or does it have to be a tomato? A tomato. <laughs> it can be a tomato. In fact, I think tomatoes are better. Yeah. Just like potatoes. I actually think that's like the organic ones should be tomatoes. And they, right. Uh, oh, that's tomatoes. a good idea. Yeah. You know, it's but tomatoes. you know, when you bite into something <laughs> like that, you can feel yes. the nutrients yeah. stimulating your body right away. And so, if people are living in a food desert, perhaps they. Um, Perhaps there are farmer's markets, maybe not one right in their vicinity, but it'd be worth driving to. You know, uh, I'm sure they have a computer and internet access and they can. There are dozens of really excellent websites that they can order, um, you know. Do you have any recommendations for those websites? I do, I have uh, Vitacost dot com is a good one and I have I have other um, ones listed but you can also order from directly from from the stores so like the Whole Foods and the Trader mm -hmm. Joe's and places like that um, even through Amazon Amazon mm -hmm. you know a uh, thing about Amazon is Amazon is very powerful about uh, mm -hmm. wanting you to see the products that they want you to see, which okay. probably the I don't know this. We get that for indie books as fact. well. So no, don't, don't it. you know? This I mean, is just my opinion. They definitely do it with the but, indie books. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But so they, I wouldn't be surprised they if they do it with other things. And having you see what they want you to see, and so even if you're googling a maca root powder, for example, they're going to send up probably. I don't know if they base it on the ones that are most profitable for Amazon or what basis it is, but yeah. You know, so I always you encourage you. You pay for that. You, you actually pay. To be yeah. Seen. So I yeah. encourage wow. you to, you know, really read the product reviews, just as you would be Absolutely. in a store reading the labels. Mm -hmm. um, and the other thing.